First, what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter or a homeowner? I'm a homeowner. Homeowner. Okay, so what type of structure is your home? Is it single family detached, multi unit condo, apartment, single duplex? Family. Single family. Single family. Yes. And what is the approximate move in date? Move in date? Mm -hmm. When did you first start living in mm. the home you are right now? <laughs> Long time ago. Yeah, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, so what's yeah. now, 2019, so almost, yes, yes. 2000, 1999? Yeah. yeah. So All right. And has your family always lived in Cook County? Yes. Okay, so how did you end up in your home in 1999? Um, my grandfather owned that home and the, the farm, and when he passed away, uh, I bought a portion of the farm in his home. All right. So before you got the portion of his farm and your home, where did you live? I lived in Valdosta, mm -hmm. Georgia, in an apartment complex for a few years. Uh, briefly moved into an apartment in and then to my present home. All right. Um, I'm actually from the Philippines, and I moved here in 2015 to go to UGA. And then my husband lives in Tifton, so now I'm a Tiftonite. So you actually moved from the Philippines here? Yes, to sir. Okay. Mm, to go to UGA. I was looking up scholarships and how to get a master's degree without paying for it. So I was, was looking it, for a... Was it a culture shop when you got here? Yes. Was it? Yes, yeah. yes and no, because I like um, watching yeah. movies and HBO and Disney Channel mm. and MTV. Mm. So I kind of knew what I was getting into. <laughs> kind of new, really yeah. <laughs> but um, just like you, well, not I live in a. Did you say you live in a single family detached home? Right. 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 Okay. <laughs> so I also live in a single family detached home, but I'm actually renting to own. So I'm not fully a homeowner yet. So can you describe further what your house looks like? Like what kind of roof do you have? Is it a one story, two story? How many one bedrooms? Story, one story home, three bedroom, one bath. Uh, approximately 1,600 square foot, something like that. Uh, vinyl side, metal roof. Metal roof. All right. Have you ever invested in solar energy or solar power? I have not, but I would be interested in Okay, so. good open it. So why have you not adopted solar energy? The upfront cost is... It's starting to come down now, but it's still it's high. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, for the last time I checked, it was expensive. So that's been the, the I guess the main reason I haven't so far. But I, I really would like to, you know, um, I'd love to have some some solar panels on my roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Okay. Um. I'm sure it's cost effective in the long run. But, but the upfront yeah, cost, awesome, yeah, upfront cost, you know, is. Mm -hmm. um, with your um, metal roof right now, mm -hmm. was that decision made for you, or did you decide it yourself? I decided it was originally a, a shingle roof that suffered some damage during a storm, and uh, when I replaced it, I just went back with a metal roof. Okay. Um, and you said you would be open to solar energy oh, yeah. adoption if it was made available to you, correct? Yes. yes. All That's right. Good. Mm, let's see. So now you have the map of the United States of mm -hmm. America in front of you. Right. Would you put a mark there, circle, X, check, whatever you want? Where do you think the highest adapters of solar energy, where are they? I don't have a clue. Really. Mm -hmm. So California? Yeah. Is that where I'm you guessing. Put? Okay, your guess, California. Um, why did you think they would probably be there? Uh, this. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Um, it's hard to explain. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's just a different mindset. I, uh -huh. I would say more liberal people out that mm -hmm. way. Maybe a little more progressive type people. Uh, I think they would be more open-minded mm -hmm. to, to change. And that would be the reason I picked California. But Okay. That's um, a wild guess. Wild guess. Yeah. Do you think the people that you just described, more open-minded, more liberal, and open to new things, 
Um, do you think they are different from the people from Cook County or s more similar? Uh, not so much different. I just think they're in the, I think the southern regions are, are you still got a, that section of people that are they're just, I call them old school, mm -hmm. old fashioned. Uh, set on their ways? Kind of set in their ways a little bit. I, I, I think people in certain regions of the country are just more conscious of what's going on and, you know, are, are more open to change. Mm -hmm. Right. So now let's have the same um, questions in the state of Georgia. So in the map of the state of Georgia, can you put a mark there where you think the highest adapters of solar energy would be? Mm. So where do you think it would be? I would say in the northern region. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of near the Atlanta area. Yeah, I'd say mm -hmm. making area up towards Atlanta, All that, right. that region would be. So same question, like... Who are the people there? Like, why do you think they would be the higher adapters of solar? <laughs> Basically, I would give you the same answer mm -hmm. as I would from California. Mm -hmm. um, I just think they're just more conscious. I, I think there's just more old-fashioned people down here mm -hmm. that are. I'm not. I'm not gonna say they're necessarily setting their ways. They're just. They're just old-fashioned. They're comfortable with what they got. Okay. You know, and it's dependable. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, I just think in bigger areas, more things going on, more probably more educated people there. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Again, uh, I just think they're more conscious of things. You know. Okay, and. What about your close friends or family here in the state of Georgia? Do you know anybody who has adapted solar power? Can't think of any. Okay. But I, I know that most of my friends would be open to the idea, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, there again, there's that upfront cost that's yeah. been a you know, problem mostly for folks, I think. But, um, yeah, I think most of my friends will be open to it. Mm -hmm. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being very knowledgeable in terms of solar energy, solar power, and 1 not so knowledgeable, how would you rank yourself? Mm. On a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. I would probably say a 5, a 6. Five. Okay. What about um, Cook County in general? How knowledgeable about solar power, rooftop solar power do you think we are here? Five, six, okay, so in that range, seven maybe. Okay.